the initial two Larry Boys, uh, Fib from Outer Space and Rumorweed, they were both huge hits, and our fans loved those shows. And actually, that led to a spin-off, which was Larry Boy 2D series, um, which was very different from the 3D series. It had a completely different look. The, the scripts and story structures were very different. Part of the challenge was kind of going back you know, to what we had with Larry Boy before. I wrote an original treatment. I, I woke up one morning with an idea for Larry Boy, kind of a Samson story. The idea was good. We, we did some other things with the Samson story in development, so we put that aside for a time. But it didn't die inside of me, the desire for us to do a, a you know, a temptation story. And I really felt like that Larry Boy was a good vehicle for us to do that with. This story is different from other Larry Boy stories because the other two dealt with a specific vice. And this story being about temptation almost takes a step back. It's like everyone's tempted to do a number of different things. You can be tempted to do something that's just plain bad, like lying, or tempted to do something like watching television, which isn't bad by itself, but too much of it obviously is. Temptation is when we're drawn away, when we're pulled aside from being who God intends for us to be. And that's what, that's what the core of this show is about. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm stronger than temptation. I'm a superhero. Ah! Larry Boy, obviously, he thinks he can control his chocolate. He says, I'm a superhero. I can deal with it. But it gets the better of him. He's not just eating the chocolate. The chocolate's eating him. Beautiful chocolate. I love white chocolate. I like dark chocolate. If you put like uh, chocolate and french fries in front of me, I tend to go for the french fries, you know, so the Larry side of me would go for the chocolate. Mm. Ah! Time to go swimming! Ah! We needed to make sure that we represented Temptation well, you know, kind of embodied the character of Temptation, you know, with, you know, a character who was alluring and you know, kind of was easily able to talk people into things. Finding the right voice for the bad apple was, uh, was quite a search. You needed that nice bit of, you know, really a pleasing voice, but just a little bit of villainy in there too. What kind of character would symbolize temptation? An apple is not necessarily scriptural for temptation, but it does seem to evoke in people's minds, you know, temptation. Bad apple, you are rotten to the core. Not just any apple, a bad apple. Knock, knock. Who's there? Just a pretty little apple with some time to spare. Larry Boy, for all the fun it is to watch, was one of the most difficult shows I've been on. A lot of rewrites, re-storyboarding, re-editing, re-lighting. There's a lot of levels in it, and there's a lot of texture to it, and there's I think there's a lot that people can get out of it. And then we've got almost two climaxes in it that we need to deal with separately. There is one dealing with temptation. Oh, oh no! I've fallen into a web of chocolate temptation! Alfred, I can't get out of this mess by myself. I need your help! And then the physical climax of getting rid of the villain. Is it hot out here? Or is it just me? <laughs> It was a um, huge action sequence, and this whole big thing in Bumbly Bird Park with the giant apple and the big spider legs and the webs. And Larry trains for months before doing any Larry Boy episode, you know, with his super suction sit-ups, and, uh, you know, he does Stairmaster and bench press, of course, and he does all his own stunts. It took him a while to get used to using the, the plungers as a mode of transportation. <laughs> we had to re-rig re them to support his weight because he's, he's put on a couple pounds since the last show. Lady Boy had a weakness for chocolate. That's why I needed the help of the good friends that God gave me to keep chocolate from getting the best of me. We all are subject to being drawn away from our, by temptation. Learning how to deal with temptation is really important for kids because it's something you're gonna deal with the rest of your life. I mean, you're a kid, it's usually smaller elements, you know, smaller temptations like food, like some candy, being tempted to eat too much candy or to watch TV too much. And we need to be able to say to a friend, another godly person, look, I've got a problem with this. I'm weak in this area. I need your help. You know, I, I want you to, to know this. Being able to admit that to somebody is half the battle. To have people in your life that you're not afraid uh, 
to, to confide in that you can that you can trust and you can open up things that you're dealing with to them it's a way to, to help you grow just remember God made you special and he loves you very much goodbye, goodbye.